Hello, my most amazing artists. How are you today? Awesome. Well, we are going to work on some blending today, actually on our Mona Lisa. And as you might remember, I said we're gonna use some really bright colors. So you can use your oil pastels from your oil pastel kit that I gave you at the beginning of the year. Or if you happen to have some chalk pastels at home or just even pieces of chalk, that will work too. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on coloring around the uh, contour of our shapes that Mona Lisa has. Now I've started mine, I'll give you a little warning. You'll see that, yes, yes, I've started doing a little coloring in there with Mona Lisa. We're going to be coloring on the inside of the contour and then using our finger or even a Q-tip to do some blending. If you don't want to get chalk or oil pastel on your finger, then go ahead and grab yourself a paper towel or a Kleenex to help protect your fingertip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take us through. We're going to work on coloring in Mona Lisa's hair today. And like I said, we're doing pop art, so these colors are um, not normal. They're really bold and vibrant, okay? So Mona Lisa's hair was not blue. <laughs> for real in her artwork. Let's come on down and check it out together. So um, Leonardo da Vinci and other artists from his time period, the Renaissance time period, um, utilized their paint colors. That's a light blue. I think I'm gonna switch it up and go for the darker one. They used their paints um, and the way they blended them kind of was looked like there was darker areas and lighter areas. Like we talked about yesterday, there was different values in their paints. And so when we are doing our coloring today, we're kind of going for the same look. We're going to put the line inside of the outline. It's kind of along that contour there. And then when we blend it, it will look like the, the uh, Mona Lisa has rounded features. Very natural looking. But our colors, not so much, right? They're more pop art. Alrighty. I may decide to go in color in the hair a little bit more because I don't know she uh, her hair's not really rounded it's more just hanging out there okay so I'm gonna use this here and just pull away from the line that you did and as you pull away it takes from the darkest area and creates some value Oh, this is okay. With her face, it was really important that we try to make the center of her face, I'll show you here, kind of almost white so that it looks like her face is definitely rounded. Just like when um, you're, if you were going to draw a ball, we would have the dark, the edges darker and the middle would be lighter. So, Probably doing the hair wasn't the best example for you. I was hoping to do a big area though so you could see how um, the dark edges made it look like it was had some, some shape to it. Okay, I'm kind of doing that here with her hair on this side because it's a bigger area. You can see it really well. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna take my mask down. There's not anybody here with me. I'm just gonna blow off that extra chalk. There we go. So you can see how it kind of looks a little rounded there. And then back over here, as it's behind her, her face and her shoulder, it's a little darker. Kind of hanging out there in the dark. Okay, so then I'm gonna color in her sash. 
And again, we're just gonna color along the lines. I'm trying not to color on the uh, mono print that we made, the lines that we traced over, because they're really pretty too. Okay. I'm gonna use the other side of the Q-tip and just blend those in. So you're not gonna have a, a real solid color. It's going to be lighter in some areas and along the edges, it'll be darker. And that's exactly what we're going for. I like using the Q-tip because it really gets in those corners really well. Okay, I'm gonna blow it again. <sighs> there we go. Okay, so now I've got all of Mona Lisa colored in and I'm gonna do a contour around the outside and just color that in. So let's see here. She's got blue hair, yellow skin, purple dress and a green sash. I think I'm gonna do a golden background. And really make it pop. Since this is a big area, I'll probably end up using my finger to blend it. So if you accidentally go over your line a little bit, it's okay. Try to give it a little bit of space so it doesn't do that. Okay. Little bit extra color in here. Go. <laughs> I'm not trying to make her look like she's glowing, but <laughs> that is how it looks, doesn't it? Okay, let's try to blend that now. I'm gonna use my paper towel. earlier and I'm just brushing it away from her body so it doesn't go into the area that we all already colored also don't want to smudge what I already did color in there and right along the side if I need to get a little closer Okay, it is your turn to create and have fun with your pastels today, whether you use chalk or oil pastels to color in your Mona Lisa. Bye for now.